Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our September 11th remembrance. At this time, Lieutenant Vitals, please call the detail to attention. Detail! Attention! Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for a minute of silence. Lieutenant Vitos, please release the detail. At this time, I would like to introduce Chaplain Martino for the prayer. Detail, Good morning. I want to ask a question. How many of us remember where we were when that fateful day happened? Well, I started off my morning at Mass with my two friars over at St. Anne's in Marlboro. I used to have breakfast with them every day before I went to my optometric office that was in town in Northboro. And um, we saw one plane hit the towers, and we thought it was, you know, advertising some sort of a new movie. And then we saw the black shadow of the second plane that hit the towers, and we knew it was real. Later in that morning, about 9.30, I got a phone call from one of our other chaplains and said, how quickly can you get to Logan Airport? I said, I should be there in about an hour. And we went in and we ministered, a number of us, to the families of the victims from Flight 11 and Flight 175. It was a horrific day. We knew nothing about what would happen the next day. And so today we pray that this never happens again as we call on Almighty God to help us through. And so we pray. Almighty God and Father, we come to you in prayer this day on the memorial of the fateful morning 23 years ago, this very day, very similar to the day that it happened. There are only a few clouds in the sky today. It's very warm. It was a beautiful September day. But suddenly death and destruction rained from the skies in a senseless act of terror. Many were lost that day in the attacks, and many police, fire, and EMS who went to save made the supreme sacrifice in their effort to re rescue those who were trapped in the upper floors of the towers. 
For those of us who served there, it seems like yesterday. As the morning moved on, many were lost when Flight 77 was deliberately piloted into the Pentagon. Shortly after, those on board Flight 93 were lost as it crashed in an obscure field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. All four flight numbers that crashed on 9-11-2001 have respectfully been retired. Life is a precious gift from you, Father, and peace is what you truly wish for our world. We pray that you continue to guide the leaders of the world to see things your way, that they honestly and diligently work towards a lasting peace so that the word enemy never exists in our world. We ask that you bless us with your peace, Father, not only on this day, but on all the days to come. And to this we say, Amen. I would like to welcome Shrewsbury Police Chief Kevin Anderson for the police officer's prayer. Lord, I ask for courage, courage to face and conquer my own fears, courage to take me where others will not go. I ask for strength, strength of body to protect others, and strength of spirit to lead others. I ask for dedication, dedication to my job and do it well, dedication to my community to keep it safe. Give me, Lord, concern for others who trust me, and compassion for those who need me. And please, Lord, through it all, be at my side. Amen. I would now like to welcome Shrewsbury Fire Chief Seth Colby for the firefighter's prayer. When I am called to duty, wherever flames may rage, give me the strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me, to guard my every neighbor and protect their property. And if according to God's will, I must answer death's call, blessed with your protecting hand, my family, one and all. Amen. Our remembrance is now concluded. Thank you all. <laughs>